Hi, it's Dr. Ronali. Today I'm going to be talking about premature contractions, atrial and ventricular. Now, basically, a lot of people have premature contractions and they don't even know it. They don't feel anything. Um, but some people are sensitive to them and they might feel lightheadedness, chest pain, dizziness, or shortness of breath. All of that can feel scary, um, but actually, for most people, it's a normal finding and it's not usually dangerous at all. But the reason if you would want to look into it further is to find out if it is related to your heart, if you are having symptoms. And, you know, we can only tell if it's an irregular heart rhythm, like atrial fibrillation, if you come in to see us, you know, in the office, either your primary care doctor or a cardiologist. Um, and so some of the tests they might do to see if, you know, your symptoms could be related to premature contractions or a different irregular heart rhythm, like atrial fibrillation that we would want to know about, um, is they would have you do an ECG or a whole tumor monitor or, or and a whole tumor monitor and event monitor. And what those monitors are, are monitors, they're kind of like mini ECG machines that you wear around with you and you wear them um, either 24 hours, 48 hours, a week, two weeks, um, up to a month. You take them off when you shower, but otherwise you wear them all the time, even when you're sleeping. And that can help us diagnose, you know, what if your symptoms are related to an irregular heart rhythm or something normal, like premature contractions, which is normal for most people. Now your Apple Watch is not a reliable way to diagnose this. Um, you know, if it tells you you don't have atrial fibrillation, that's not reliable. Um, you know, I did a different video on it, but it doesn't have enough leads to actually tell us accurately what your heart rhythm is. So although it does occasionally work for the occasional person to tell them they have atrial fibrillation or not, for most people it's not reliable. And if so, if you have symptoms, you should still come to the doctor so we can reliably find out, you know, if it's related to something that's concerning, like atrial fibrillation, or if it's a normal finding, something like premature contractions, which for most people is normal. That's all for today. For more videos, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Molly Desai. I'll see you next time.